So, what is data availability and why it's important for this bull run? Although L2s are attempting to scale Ethereum, they are all constrained by the throughput of data availability providers. The availability of data, in this case the contents of each L2 block, allows other nodes on the networks to ensure that the L2 sequencer is producing high quality blocks free from errors or malicious code. This step cannot be skipped. So DA becomes a bottleneck when the most used provider is Ethereum itself. It's like a tech demo more than anything else. Upcoming Ethereum improvement proposal 4840 aims to boost throughput up to 0.08 megabits per second, over 10 times more than Bitcoin, and new data availability solutions like Celestia, Avail, and Egan Lair could provide 6 to 15 megabits per second. But Polkadot co-founder Robert Habemeyer has been working on an even better solution codenamed Sugandat, which would use Polkadot cores and elements of Polkadot 2.0 to scale data availability provision with DA demand. Just keep adding cores. And this is good news for dot holders because cores, super hot computing units with increasingly generalized compute, burn dot to run. Sugandot provides services to external ecosystems similar to the Hyperbridge, which we covered a few weeks ago, which will be using Polkadot cores to provide interoperability between all these L2s without those rickety bridges. In fact, it kind of looks like Sugandot will need Hyperbridge to deliver this DA service. Very good news for dot holders. Make sure you subscribe to the Kusamarian and then sit tight for more ecosystem news starting with NFTs. This week, it's high Japanese quality. Alice hops aboard a star strike, as well as Talisman and Yudels, who imagine a DAO managing assets on any chain from any chain with reputation based on contributions, where the Discord owner is decentralized and all assets controlled by composable NFTs that are owned by the decentralized community. Rare ships are now on Element. Data Dash Teddy will be auctioned December 15th. Kings in the green and ready for business. Countdown to the Royal Raffle, first draw for a queen worth 3k is on the 22nd of December. Just stake to enter. Damn, Skylab, this looks great. Music is on fire. Bones is live with free play available. Canarias are tradable on base. And did you see your Skybreach lands there too? GBM bidding. LFG. And hey, collection offers. Moonsama is reworking Pondsama for casual gamers and is building Karensama on AVAX's beam. And final poop call. SFY first snapshot will be January 18th. Glimmer Apes hits a new all-time high for games played in 7 days and is testing a new UI. Big Country adds preview with a special theme. Scroll down for parachain news. Hey everyone, the GOAT is a chat that returned all lost funds within hours of Stella's announcement, sir. Thank you. On to business then. After Hydra's win, Interlay and Sora are leading the pack while Kusama, Kuryo, and Mangada are 40 KSM apart. As Star Snap is integrating into MetaMask, Ledger shows how swapping for Dot can be directly done within Ledger Live, but watch out and clear your cash as Ledger did another oopsies, making this all more relevant. Number 1 on CoinGecko and 6.1 is live on Testnet and hey, DKG on Luxo. Bulk Assembly puts all referendums on a single page while BUSD is being discontinued by Binance, Silicon Dioxide Finance and Astrid Dow are removing their BUSD service in turn. Pendulum's HMRP with Moonbeam is open and Frequency delivers live analytics showing social media MeWe users onboarding to Polkadot, many more to join. Search on domains, can't we have this everywhere? Mangada is launching a liquidity protocol on Eigen. Bifrost requests a treasury liquidity loan, much like their previous one on Kusama, which is now fully repaid. This loan will be used for Bifrost V. Liquid staking token supporting Interlay's IBTC and increasing rewards for Vault operators. The loan will be paid back with interest. Aventus has a new CEO and Hydra now has stats. Fala unveils Index for cross-chain trading, which is the first chain agnostic intent execution layer, making readable requests and getting things done. Energy Web unveils Energy Web X. <laughs> and Invarge crowd learners are to be rewarded soon. Sneak peek on automation from Oak Network. And finally, order without delay on the cross blockchain and enjoy slot auction rewards. Have a great weekend, everybody.